Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Obsidian Soft. Now you know the potential of learning to program with Scratch as we have published app development classes using MIT App Inventor. Another amazing thing that you can do after learning to program with Scratch is Arduino. The beginning of robotics. Arduino is a microcontroller which is easily available from Amazon or your local computer stores. The Arduino can be bought alone or it can be bought with a kit which includes various sensors which can help you make projects. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Arduino with PictoBlox, which is a scratch based coding software which you can use to program the Arduino. So let's get started. So let me first tell you what an Arduino is. An Arduino is a microcontroller which is basically a small computer which you can program to make robots. So this is the Arduino Uno. There are various versions of Arduino, but this is the easiest one to get your hands on. And it is the best for beginners. So it is as big as a credit card and it looks fairly complicated at first, but I will be showing you how easy it is to code it later on in the video. On the side of the Arduino, you can see a USB B port and a power port. On the top left, you can see a reset button. Here's the Arduino Uno title. And you can see digital inputs and outputs all over the board. If you buy the Arduino, it will also come with a cable which might look like this. This is the USB cable which you use to program your Arduino. It basically just connects your Arduino like so. And the other end will connect to your computer's USB port. On the top of the Arduino, you will see a row of pins. These are called the digital pins. On the bottom of the Arduino, you will see a row of pins or holes over here. These are called the analog pins. And over here are ground and power pins. So that is a basic hardware description of the Arduino. Now let's check out the software which we will use to program it. So this is the software which we will be using to program the Arduino. Its name is PictoBlogs and if you have watched any of our previous Scratch tutorial videos, you will immediately recognize this as it looks just like Scratch. On the top we have a few buttons to connect the Arduino and over here it looks just fine, just like Scratch. But now let's connect our Arduino to the software. So as I showed before, you connect one side of the cable to your Arduino and the other side to the computer. Now once you've connected your Arduino to your computer, be sure not to let it touch any metal surface as it could short out the Arduino, which would not be good. Now this pop-up might come over here, you can register, but I'm just going to cancel it for now. Now to connect the Arduino, we go to the board section over here and choose our board. Right now, I'm using the Arduino Uno. Once that's done, this pop-up will come over here and you should just connect the second one, which is showing up, COM3, that's Arduino board. You can even see that it's official using the Arduino LLC. Let's just click connect and it should show that it's connected. Now there are two modes of this software, stage mode and upload mode. You can see which mode you're on by looking at the top right. Right now we're on stage mode and basically what this means is that we can code our Arduino real time and see its effects. On the left over here you will see that new modules have showed up which are basically the Arduino modules. The, on the top over here you will see your board name Arduino Uno and these are the basic blocks which we'll be using to code the Arduino. Down here, we can see blocks to make motors move, blocks for sensors, blocks for displays, and blocks for dabble, which we will be discussing in another video. What we're going to use right now are these blocks over here. So first of all, you want to upload your firmware by clicking this button over here. Whenever you're in stage mode, you want to upload your firmware to make sure that your Arduino works properly. So just wait for it to load and now it's done. Now let's make a simple project. I'm going to be making a project right now which will consist of the Arduino blinking an LED light in Morse code to show the initials of your name. 
My name is Ahmad, so I want the Arduino to blink the light to spell out A. You can go on Google to search for Morse code translator and go to images and you will see a whole list of images for Morse code. As you can see, A is a dot and a dash. Dot means small delay, meaning that the LED will only turn on for a small amount of time and dash means a long delay. So the LED will turn on for a long time. You can say that a dot can be 0 0.5 seconds and a dash can be one second. So dot dash means A and A stands for Ahmad. So now we're going to connect the LED to the Arduino. If you bought a kit with your Arduino, you should already have these components. But if you don't, these components are widely available. All you need is of course your Arduino, a small LED, I already have a yellow one and a red one, but the color shouldn't really matter, and a resistor. The resistor is there to reduce the current and make sure that our LED doesn't accidentally blow, which can happen if you give it too much current. So here's the Arduino. I'm going to choose a digital pin on the right side over here, and preferably it should be on the top over here. So I'm going to be choosing 12 for this. As you can see, the 12 was is over there it's kind of hard to read so you can count up 8 9 10 11 12 and I'm going to take my LED over here and look for the longer pin as you can see on the right side of the LED you have the longer pin and this means that this is the positive pin and by being positive you want to insert the positive pin into your desired digital pin so as you can see, the right one is my positive pin, which is longer. I'm just going to insert it into the 12th slot. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just put it right in as far as it can go. Don't apply too much pressure though. Let me show you a side view. It looks just like this. Now we're going to attach our resistor to the negative side, which is the shorter side. So you don't need to do much. Just tie it around. Just make sure it is connected. And you insert the resistor into the ground pin. As you can see, it's right there. It's after the 13th slot, as you can see, right over there. Here's a closer view. Just going to insert it into the ground pin. Just like that. Now it looks a little weird right now, so let me just clean it up a little. And just like that, our LED is connected. With the resistor there to make sure that our LED doesn't glow. Now let's connect it back into the computer. And as you can see, our Arduino is now on. Now let's go back into our PictoBlock software and connect our Arduino again. COM3, just like that it's connected. And now let's code it. In this video, I'm going to be using stage mode as I will be showing you how to use upload mode in another video. So let's first go to events and choose the flag clicked event as this will start our Arduino program when the flag is clicked. Be sure to upload your firmware too. Now when the flag is clicked, we want the LED to turn on for a bit, turn off and then turn on for longer time to Im imitate a dot and a dash in Morse code. So let's choose a forever loop to make sure that it keeps repeating our code. Let's go to the Arduino Uno section. We are going to be using the set digital pin block. As I showed you earlier, we connected our LED into a digital pin. So this block controls the digital pin. So we use digital pin 12. So let's quickly choose that right there. And let's choose the output as low. Low means that it will not send an electrical signal to that pin and high means that it will. So let's set it as that to make sure that our LED starts off as off. Now let's add a weight. Wait one second. And then we're going to turn the digital pin on for 0 0.5 seconds. 
so digital pin 12 and set it to high which means that our LED will turn on. Let's go back and we will wait 0.5 seconds. There we go and that will imitate a dot and after 0.5 seconds our LED will turn off again. So it will turn on, wait 0.5 seconds then turn off. Choose 12, low. Now I can just duplicate this and now we want to imitate a dash. So our dot is done. Let's make it imitate a dash. So let's wait 0.5 seconds and then turn it on again. And this time we're going to be waiting one whole second. As it is longer than 0.5 seconds, it will look like a dash. There we go, one second. And then after one second, we will turn it off again. And then we will wait one second again. Now that is our code. According to your name, you can look on Google and find the Morse code for the beginning of your name. And now let's click our flag and see what the Arduino does. Do you see that? The Arduino keeps blinking the Morse code of A. Let me show you that again. Dot dash. Now this might seem like a very simple project to you, but the Arduino Uno can do much, much more. You can make simple projects such as this, which just blinks an LED, or you can go all the way up to remote controlled cars or even robotic arms. Let me turn off the light to help you see better. Now before we end the video, I have a challenge for you. I challenge you to code the Arduino so that you can write a full sentence and then the Arduino will blink it out for you. Let's see if you can do it. If you manage to do it, please send a link in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and like. You can also share this with other people who are interested in starting with Arduino. I will be continuing this series by posting a video about Arduino. So be sure to be tuned for that. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.